So here we are again with uh, CSI. We're going to do some questions at the morgue with Doc Allen. After death, a human body generally drops two degrees the first hour and another degree every hour after that, with a four-hour give or take. Given the core temperature of the victim's liver and the ambient temp of the crime scene, I estimate she was killed between 11 and 11.30 p.m. Okay, so there's our time of death, cause of death. Asphyxia due to strangulation. The hyoid bone, just under the bruising on her neck, was broken. Quick death, anyway. Physical uh, loss of blood, actually. There are petechiae in the victim's eyelids, tiny pinpoint hemorrhages caused when the blood backs up into the capillaries. But with an internal injury like this, you won't have much, if any, of the victim's blood at the scene. Any blood you find is more likely the killer's. Interesting. Any physical clues? Found traces of skin under three of her nails. Not a lot, but enough to indicate she may have been trying to fight off her assailant. You can take it with you. Ran a rape kit, too. Sexual activity, but no sign of assault. Fairly narrow ligature marks like these might indicate a rope or cord or even a twisted length of sheet was used. I don't know if you knew this already, but our victim had hepatitis C, found interferon in her system. Nothing else unusual, very healthy young woman otherwise. All right, can we look at the body? No, not in this one, I don't think. No, we've got nothing else to do, right? So, the only other, the only other thing to do is go to the laboratory and meet Greg Sanders. Greg is great. Oh, so you're the new pledge around the CSI frat house. How do you like the initiation so far? Look, I know what it's like to be thrown in the pool and told to swim. I'm here for you. Greg Sanders. Confidentially, I'm the guy who keeps this party hopping. Alright, so... How does the lab work again? Hey, you want to know the composition of unknown evidence from the field? You know who to call. You want me to run a DNA comparison on some samples? My pleasure. Just select the item you want me to analyze and drag it onto me. Don't be shy. You want me to compare a couple of items? Just give them to me. And if you want to use a computer or the microscope, just click on them and I'll tell you more. Now you know who really runs things. Right, so that's how that all works. Right, so we've got the microscope here. We've got the computer over there. So let's take some evidence. Bracelet. Can't think of much more to tell you about Right, so that's pretty much a no-go. Just a torn bed sheet. Nothing special about the fabric or the way it was torn. Right, so see when you have the yellow little mark there? That means there's nothing more you can do with that piece of evidence. Tough to get prints or anything useful off money. This is no exception. Came up blank. Sorry. That's okay, Greg. You did your best. Analyze the meds inside, and just like the label says, it's interferon. Looks like the pharmacy did their job. I was able to lift some latent prints from it, too. They look like partials. More prints from that. That's decent. And we've got the tape. It's a magnetic chromium dioxide audio cassette tape. Nothing special to tell you about it. Now, that's all the items. What about trace? Check that out under the microphone. Oh, yeah. See if you can match it to a corroborating piece. Right, so what we need to do is we need to take all this. And you can see that that hair sample is now in the microscope. So we need to take all this and like give it to him. What you got there is a partial print. So we just need to put everything onto the onto the thing. So send it all to him. Blood. With plenty of DNA for me to draw comparisons. So all these will be sent. So you can see that that's going to the computer and the microscope, I think. I were you? So let's just go and give all this. Hey, good news. I found enough DNA for a profile, but comparing it to another sample is where the fun begins. And then one more thing. I were you? I... No items. No documents. Can't think of. They're just hotel receipts. Nothing special about them. 
Man, I hope she got air miles for all these. Right, so I think that's every bit of evidence that we have. So we can do more with these prints in the DNA because we've not got the yellow tag, you see. So that's how you know when something's been um, fully used. So now we've done all, we've pretty much done all that. So now let's just go to the computer. Next to me, computer's your best buddy. It's hooked up to a number of search databases. Just drag the evidence onto either side of the computer and click search. To make comparisons, just drag evidence onto both sides and click compare. If you got anything, you'll find out right away. Alright, so... As you can see here, we have three total fingerprints and three new. So let's start out with fingerprints. Now, so what we want to do is... Let's take, let's take the full print that we found in the TV first. And we'll run a search on it. And we have found a result. So now... Oh, Bert Sustin! Right, let's compare Bert Sustin's in there and see if they are a match. Our hotel owner doesn't exactly have a squeaky clean background, although 10 years can change a person. So there we go, why was his fingerprint on the TV? Oh, he turned the TV down most likely when he came in. And he's got an assault and sexual harassment claim uh, back in 92. So that is possible. He's got a rap sheet, so that's possible thing there. Uh, St Stephen Mitch, Kim Forbes, Dal Wu, Chloe Mazzotti. Right. Let's now check the partial print and the medicine bottle print, see if they're the same. Don't quite have a match there. Check the details when doing the comparison. Only when you're sure should you ask for confirmation. Right, so that's not one. Right, let's take away, let's search for this. A partial fingerprint. Could still be useful though. We need to compare it to a full... Right, so... No match there. What about the medicine bottle print? No result. Let's compare it to the full print. I can't really... I think this was a lot easier in the PlayStation version. That's not much. I can't really tell. Can't really tell if they are thingy. T oh, we do have a new one though. Rap sheet. Right, now let's look at the DNA. So, the, the swab stain and the skin sample given by coroner. That is not a match. Oh no, it is a match. There's a clear difference between those. Make sure you've got a match before you... Is that not... They are definitely the same. Swab stain. Skin sample. They are st that's the same, they are definitely the same. Right, DNA records, let's start with record 82713, that is not the same. 76690, that is not the same. That is not the same. Not the same. Not the same, but you know what is the same? The skin sample. I could have sworn that... I could have sworn that the swab stain and the skin sample, they are the same. They are the same. That is, they are the same. Interpreting evidence. That is BS game. That is, those are the same. Right. So what else do I have? Oh, the microscope. Let's Don't be afraid of them. Right. Right. 
Right, so let's start looking at this, the hair sample. Oh, but we need something to compare it to, sadly. So we don't have that, so I think what we want to do now is bring in the hotel owner for a little talk. Yeah? What do you need, guys? Okay, this clown lied to us about how well he knew the young woman. Sure, he has legit access to the room. But any way you slice it, I can find a judge who'll give us a warrant. Right, so we've got, um, DNA for the hotel owner. Ah, oh, yeah, well, you have something here. This rap sheet gives us plenty of excuse to talk to this charmer again. I'll have him hauled right in. Okay, just for a change of pace, let's try the truth this time. You got no right taking that tone. I'm cooperating, ain't I? I told you before, I got nothing to do with this mess. Oh, look at all this. What's that, a warrant? What the hell is this? I didn't do anything to that poor kid. Take your sample and get out of my life already. Thanks, we will. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. Here we go, got evidence there. Go easy with that thing, will you? Why, this your first night, and I'm your guinea pig? No, I want to know about this answering machine thing. So I knew the girl. Big friggin' whoop. A showgirl. Usually quiet, but she lost it last minute. Went all rock act on me, busted up a TV. 300 big ones to replace that sucker. Kid keeps promising to pay me back and nothing. Hell, I wouldn't whack a kid over trivial crap like that. What'd he take me for? Nonetheless, Mr. Sustin, Kylie is dead. Murdered in your hotel. I suppose you never made a mistake, huh? I paid for my thrills. I'm a businessman now. Strictly legit. Ugh, whenever anyone says they are strictly legit, it always... Yeah. Listen, my place ain't the Ritz, okay? Get the odd rough crowd so I take my share of bumps and nicks. Comes with the territory. Oh, what a shock, huh? I run the damn place. Oh, how could my prince be in there, huh? Give me a break. Right, so that's all we can do here, but we do have more evidence from that. We got we got DNA and we got um didn't we get DNA? Oh yeah, I need to add it. Right, partial print, hair sample, partial print, right, okay. Right, let's put this into the, the hair, into the microscope. Oh no, to him. Check that out under the microscope. And the reference DNA to there. Okay, good. We've got a DNA reference sample from the hotel owner. This is begging for a comparison. I'm telling you, man, the, the DNA I had was matching. Right. Bert Sustin. That is the same swab stain. They're going to confirm. Match found. So, it was the hotel owner's blood in the sink. That's... Huh. Now what about... Right, let's back out. Now what about... Reference DNA and the skim sample. They're the same. Interpreting evidence is... What is different about them? Am I just... They are the same. I am looking at the exact... <laughs> oh well. If you say so, game, if you say they're not the same, but they totally are. Let's look at the hair sample. There's his. That's, that's the hotel manager. They are not a match. So we can say that the hotel manager was not the hair that we found there. So where do where do we go from here? Right, so we're done with all of this. We're not done with the skin sample and the partial print in the hair sample. We still don't have that. Can we get um, a warrant for Devin Rogers? What's up? No. You say this Roger? Yeah, I got a few cuts and stuff. Since when is that a crime? It isn't, but it might prove that you committed one. 
Right, let's try talking to the hotel guy since we found out about his blood. Need something? Uh, oh. Last rocket scientist to book that room busted the mirror. And guess who cut himself cleaning up the damn mess? I bled on the sink and the new mirror. Then I cleaned up after myself. After all that work, I turned on the tube and watched the news. Work for you? Right, let's have a look at the case file and see how the case file is looking. So we have pretty much the victim here, Karen Kylie Yardstrom. So if we move over to suspects, we can see that um, Bert knew the crime, he the suspect and he was in the crime scene, but he didn't. Hmm. What about this one? Right, so we, there's much more strangle uh, reconstructions we need to figure out. Now what do I do now? I swear something is going wrong with this um, skin sample. I swear that skin sample. I swear that is nothing new. Right, okay, I'm a bit of a loss right now. Let's go and check out the morgue. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you just end up getting completely like, what the heck do I do now? So there must be something I'm missing. Ah, talk to Jenny Strickland, see if she, see if... I'm afraid I don't have anything else to tell you. Nothing, really. I'm afraid I don't... Right, um, Kylie Yardstrom, let's go back to our apartment. I must have, I must be missing something. Or some kind of connection. Right, it's, yeah, that's all done with. It's all done with. Partial print. It's, maybe it's something to do with the partial print found on the remote. In the hair sample. It's definitely that. Right. It doesn't seem I'm missing much here. Nope. Okay, let's try the hotel again. Although I think what I'm missing is lab work. But I swear that skin sample is a match. It's just it's bugging me so much. I swear it's a match. Very annoying. I don't want to ask Grissom. I refuse to ask Grissom. Yeah, there is only one more thing, and that has to be the Greg Sanders. It has to be. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more searching here, I think. Right, DNA. Right. Swap stain. That's been done. Search a skin sample. So I swear that's not a match. Interpreting it. It's not a match. That is not a match either. Not a match either. Not a match. Not a match. No match, but if I take the from Bert Sustin, it is a match. There's a clear. There is not a clear difference. They're the same. They're the freaking same. Right, we need to run this partial in the remote. The partial is what's gonna. A partial fingerprint. Could still be partial is important. We need to compare it to a full print. Compare it to a full print to establish a match. Right, this is gonna be the only one full print that I have is one on the TV. That's not a match. Interpreting ever it's not a match.
Interpreting evidence isn't guesswork. Make sure you look close. All right, I'm a little bit stumped. That's Bert Sustin. You know what I need? I need I need to figure out how to get Devin Rogers. Can't think of Right, let's talk to Brass, although I don't think I'm gonna get much more from him. Need something? You say there's there's nothing Nope. Right, well, I've officially reached that bit where I am stumped. I swear that skin sample is... Ugh. I, I'm sure that it's... That it's um, a match to the hotel owner. But the game is saying no. Uh, so I must be missing a key piece of evidence then. What the hell am I missing? There's nothing I'm missing that I'm aware of. That's the blood. It's his blood. We've done that already. The hotel managers, that's fine, it's this here that I need to figure out. I refuse to ask you, Grissom. Fine, I'll ask you, Grissom. Drag the print out of Kylie's schedule on the search screen of our lab computer and run a search. See what comes up. Drag the print out of Kylie's schedule on the search screen of our lab computer and run a search. See what comes. We have a printout of that. Do we? We don't have a printout of her or her lab schedule. We don't have a. Ah, we do have a. Damn it! That is so annoying. That is so irritating. I didn't notice that we had the victim schedule. <sighs> Devon, the last person in our victim's date book has a criminal record. Some recent temper control problems. Let's file that in our suspicious folder. Alright, so he has... The game needs a better system of telling you what it, what evidence is new and un-examined. Like, so his pet theft, possession of narcotics, dumped a piece, and assault. He sounds like a nasty piece of work. And we have a fingerprint, is that right? Let's compare the partial and the remote. The devil's in the details, and it looks like we've implicated this devil. So his fingerprint is what was on the remote, which means we can probably get a... DNA sample. Alright, let's go talk to Brass, get a DNA, get a hair sample. And then we will finish this up. Yeah? What do you need, guys? Yeah, the files tell an interesting story about her. Seems she reported a stalker just six months ago. I'd like to tell you we busted the bum, but I'd be lying. And my gut says it's no coincidence she's on a silver tray now. 
Partial print places him at the scene. Nice. On its own, that might not cut it, but add that to his name popping up so prominently on the Vic schedule? Oh, yeah. Consider the warrant issued. Brilliant. Let's go grab that. This Rogers was slot. All right, okay, I won't lie to you. I saw her. I saw her tonight. Where? Hotel, way down the strip. Champagne Hotel, I think. So you admit to seeing her? Well, I do now. And I ain't too happy about having to get myself checked, either. Didn't know she had hepatitis C. What for? I got a right to know what you wanted for, don't I? I mean, I didn't kill her or anything. But why should I help you guys entrap me? Mr. Rogers, the DNA sample can help clear you. We're trying to eliminate suspects from our list. We have a warrant, sir. You can give it to us, or we can take it. Fine. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. Ow. Take it easy. Couldn't you have been a bit gentler with that thing? Right, so now that that's done, let's go straight to the lab and nail this guy. The DN right, send that to the computer. Send his hair to the computer. Right, so let's do this. Skin sample, DNA. Skin sample, and let's compare it to Devin Rogers. That's not a match! That is not a match! That is not a freaking match! The game, the game is glitched. The game is glitched. Definitely. Look at those and compare those and you tell me that that's a match. It's not a freaking match. My confidence in this game is shaking. So the skin under her nails was Devon's. And look! The hair is Devon's. They look identical. Strong likelihood our Mr. Rogers was in that hotel room around the time of the killing. Well, Devin Rogers is screwed. He's pretty screwed, I think. There's still more I can do with this skin sample and hair sample. And the reference DNA sample for some reason. Not sure what I can do with all this stuff. It's pretty much been done. Oh, game glitched out a little bit. Well, it says it's a match. I don't. I can't think of anything else to do. Um. Forget some. So we'll go back to brass, I guess. Need something? Ah. Oh. Well, let's talk to him. Hey. No. Right. Let's nail Dave and Rogers. What's up? You say this wrong? It was. Oh, yeah, I can see that. She liked it rough. Clawed my arm just to get a rise. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar, Mr. Rogers. The day Kylie returned from getting her sobering diagnosis, she did the right thing. She called anyone that she'd had sexual contact with. You asked to meet her at the hotel to talk about it. But your anger came out when she arrived. Kylie scratched you, defending herself. So you forcibly tied her to the bedpost and blindfolded her. The walls in that hotel are paper thin, so you turned up the volume on the television using the remote, which you then pitched to the floor. You tore a strip from the bed sheet, which was when a hair from your head fell into the fold. Then you wrapped the sheet around the woman's throat and finished her off. Your revenge taken, you left, but not before leaving a little tip. Make up all the stories you want. They're bull. Start to finish. Find yourself some other sucker. 
In your mind, that young woman killed you. So you killed her. That ain't what happened. She was alive when I left her. I swear it. We'll let a jury decide that. But the evidence says otherwise. Hey, hey, first. It never ends. You did a good job on this case. You found a suspect that meets the requirements for means, motive, and opportunity. That's all we can do. The rest we leave up to the district attorney. Now, let's do your evaluation. Rookie. Well, who cares? <laughs> oh yeah, but we didn't do a great job on that case. But we got the case done. Right. Wait, what? Right, so next time, that's my old one. Let's delete that. So the next time we'll be when we come in, we'll be doing light my fire. Um, so that one sounds like it's gonna be a kind of a hot case. I'm sure it will be. <laughs>